everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween. This is gonna be my first video on featuring monthly favorites. So let's get started for hair products. One product that I deeply love it is this clear scalp and hair therapy. therapy. It is basically a deep hydrating mask and I super love this product um, the name is pretty much self-explanatory like after you shampoo your hair and then you just massage this product into your hair and scalp and then just leave it on for like three minutes or so and then just rinse it off so after um, each use my hair becomes very silky smooth and tangle free like you I even use this product as a conditioner after I shampoo my hair if I don't, uh, if I don't use it, my hair becomes very dry and coarse. So I see the huge dramatic difference um, after each use. So and this is my third tube already. So I think I will keep buying it. Um, the next product I'm gonna introduce is this Tresemme heat protectant um, leave-in spray. Before you flat iron your hair or blow dry it, make sure you. Uh, spray this product onto your hair. It actually protects from all the heat up to 450 Fahrenheit. So I don't know how much um, what's the Celsius, but you guys can do the math. But anyway, this product really was like wonderful. So wonderful. So it just feels like magic. Like every time, make sure you just um, spray it a little bit um, onto your hair, either damp damp hair or dry hair, it just make a dramatic difference after you blow dry your hair because it's gonna keep your hair so feeling so refreshing and then just so so comfortable and just super great product and it's nothing expensive. You can buy that uh, at any drugstore for like about five bucks. The face product, I have four blushes here. The first one is the Manani and this is basically a baked blush. And it's a coral color, and the name of the color is called Carolina. It has a really glowy finish. Very pretty color, like, can you see it? It's like a coral finish. It has some shimmers on it, so it's kind of, yeah, I, it's best to use this um, at nighttime. It really makes your face glow, and it comes with a very nice applicator. A little brushes here, a little brush here with mirror. So this is really one. The packaging is really kind, kind, kind of fancy. And the second product is that's pr pretty much similar to the Milani. This is the Elf, and it's a baked uh, blush as well. It has pretty much the same effect. Um, it just uh, this one the uh, price at three bucks, three dollars. So it's very cheap. So still, um, you have the very nice. It gives a really dewy finish, a very nice glow to your face, to your cheeks. So this is product you might you could use this in the morning at daytime because um, the colors basically just gives the glow. They don't have much too much like coral color like this one. Like this because it has a really nice coral color so it's best to use at nighttime and this one in the daytime. So yeah they're really nice color, really nice blushes. And the next product is the NYC Cheek Glow Blush. This blush, uh, you could almost use like on a daily basis, like morning or nighttime or whatever you want. Um, this blush it gives a really natural, pretty finish. So basically, it's sometimes when you're on camera, on or even on the um, YouTube here, the video right now I'm, I'm recording, it kind of wash out, wash out my face. It becomes a uh, white, pretty white. So um, you, you apply this to your cheekbones, and it gives a really natural pink finish. And this is the best when you use and you apply for natural makeups or anything like that. So the blush you can just apply a little bit. It's not anything too flashy, but gives a really nice glow to your face. So this is the must get, and is, and the price is not expensive as well. And yeah. And then this product I love it so much because it's the I love the packaging and this is the product I got from the face shop. It's called Rose Cushion. It looks like a, this um paper cube here and you open it like this. And I love this cute little bowl 
sponge here this is like a fluffy sponge it's really cute and this and I think it's really easy to apply basically it's pretty the same idea with the swans but this one has a little more girl pink like a young lady young girl very youthful pink that like I, ha I have it actually on my uh, face right now probably it's not showing too much on the video but then this is really nice very nice, very cute. Just hold the ribbon here, the bow here, and then just apply it to your face. It just gives a very cute glow to your face. So yeah, this is I love the packaging, so cute. I, this is the one thing I really love about Asian products because they always have very nice, cute packaging, and Korean products too. Um, I yeah, I love the packaging, so cute. The weather is getting cold here. Uh, pretty much a great lip product. It's a must-have than makeups on the face. So I got two lip products here that's from the brand Lipso. They are what um the better best lip balms I swear by. It's the Ultra Soothing. This has a flavor of honey bee wax. And this one is the original mint, which is my favorite. I like the minty feel um on my lips and it's very easy to use and even better I like the packaging as well not just the product itself and you just open it here and it just has a little bee here and you just push it up and then you just apply it on my lips all the time I love I love the mint tea um, feeling on my lips it just gives me a soothing feeling and I love it I swear I got those are the best. I got those two at Walgreens for on sale for two dollars. Normally um they're actually around three fifty each I but I guess because of season sale so they have like this for two. So you're interested, go go to Walgreens and grab one or two. My favorite is this one. If you don't, you don't like minty, you can get the bee wax. So this is like a, almost like a honey kinda Mm, kind of bee wax mm, lip balm. So if you don't like mint tea, you could get this one. Um, for lipsticks, oh my gosh, I have too many likes, and it's so hard to choose. Um, especially the brands, um, L'Oreal and Maybelline. I think they the two companies like make great, really, really nice lip products. So I'm just gonna pick one from each brand. Um, so. First up, uh, first I'm just go for a brand that's surprisingly good. This is one is the Forever Twenty One Love and Beauty lipstick, and the color is called Queen Pink. Basically, it's just um pink color. I didn't think I never actually purchased cosmetics at Forever Twenty One because I don't really trust clothing companies, clothing stores, uh, makeup because um, I have tried some of the products and I didn't really like it but then this lipstick is just I buy it in kind of emergency because I was drop shopping with a friend of mine and then my lips just get so pale I just want to have something on my lips to look better so uh, surprisingly this is really nice lipstick the smells are alright, the fragrance is just okay, acceptable and it's just a really nice gorgeous red color kind of between like pink red i don't know how to how to say it but just the color is a cream pink for swatches you can check out my website um for more swatches i will put those um all the lipsticks i have on my website you can so come check out my, my blog here so this is a favorite lipstick and it's the price is not thing expensive i think i got this for three dollars and eighty cents so it's really nice. I might get more. So the second product I choose is the Romo Show Off Lip Lacquer. I don't know how to say that word, but it's the Romo Linden. And this is the one of the, because I heard so many people rave about it. So this is my first time trying it. So yeah, I really liked it. And this color I got, this is actually the second one I got. And this the one I got I recently is called Stella. And it's basically it's lip lip gloss, but then once you apply to your lips, it becomes matte. So it gives a really nice, pretty finish, really 
um, nothing sticky because I I'm not a type of person who likes gloss, lip glosses because I always have strand of two or hair stick to my lips and gives me a hard time and I hate it. But this one um is not what I think. So I said one um it's a really I think this is combination of the lipstick and the uh, and the lip gloss both. So it doesn't it once once you apply to your lips it become a uh, matte finish. So it's really nice, very nice uh, lip lip products here. So yeah, I might get more of this. And the third product I'm gonna um, pick is the face shop again, and I got this on clearance price. The original price is for twenty dollars each, and I got it for fifty percent off, so it's like gonna be ten. And this one is the face shop face it. And it's called Lesson Zero Two. You probably won't be able to see it, but yeah, the color I got this it doesn't have a color name. I guess it said Pink One Hundred One, but yeah, it's like a blush pink. Nothing, nothing dark, or it just gives a really nice pink finish. Really cute. It comes great with the um the blush I just introduced I just mentioned mentioned it before it's a great combination of the blush and this pink and it looks so youthful and so cute and so <laughs> I want to say so Asian but I'm not um, yeah but then it's so it's more toward the Asian girl type you know, they might really like this so it's a really cute pink color it's like a pale pink at the same time like it gets the really nice pretty pink just really pretty pink and I love this it doesn't dry up on my lips by the way all the lip products I'm going to introduce here it won't dry up your lips or anything it doesn't give you a like a feathery um feathery effect after you wear it by the end of the day but they both really nice lipsticks and the third product, actually, mm, I got this actually for free. It's on my birthday purse from Sephora. And this is a Makeup Forever lipstick. And the color is called Rouge Artist, in, Artist Natural. It's a, yeah, like a name. Just like the name. It's a natural color. It's nothing burgundy. And you can apply this anytime. It's a tiny one. Let's just try it out. It's my first um, Makeup Forever product. I never had it before. Maybe I never have money to afford it, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have the chance to try it, and I really liked it, and this is a great lip product. And you probably wonder why why I might keep smelling the lipstick, because I have some really big picky about lipsticks that I don't like lipstick that smells like, has a strong flavor of chemical stuff. Like, there's some chemical I, I really hate it. I know, like the one from Estee Lauder and Clean Neat lipsticks, those are not my favorite lipsticks. I hate it because it has like um really strong um, chemical scent, like the old fashioned lipsticks my mom used to have when I was a little. So um, I don't like that. So I have to smell, make sure it doesn't have the smell. And Milani too, they, they have like lipstick. Oh, well, I don't want to talk about the one I dislike it. It's all about like. So yeah, and the last last uh, one is the L'Oreal, and this this color is a purple. This is a uh, what call wireless chiffon, and I like this color too. I like the packaging like this. You know how I don't know. I just like really sneak decent design, and really looks really high end. And the openness is is a purplish color. It's great for the fall, or it's just really nice um, purple color. What well, I love it. It's pretty pretty. For nail polishes, I have this products I got from the face shop. It is the gel face it gel touch nails. Oops. Those are one of my favorite favorite nail polishes. I got it from the face shop. They're just so beautiful color and the one best thing I like about them because they dry speedy fast. I have that on my on my nails now right now. I don't need top coats or anything, and still the nails be still looking very shiny and very pretty. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite favorite nail polishes. The applicators is you just need pretty much two coats, and then you will just pretty much it comes out very nicely. Just this is the applicator is a wide brush here. It's really wide. Can you see that? Probably won't see it able to see it clear, 
but the hair color is really pretty. The only thing is they don't come in many pastel colors. They only come in um, pretty much dark color. Um, the gray color and it's the brown color is great for fall. And even the royal one that I have in, on my in, on my nails right now, those are really pretty colors for the fall. And this one too, they're all just really great nail polishes. And if you want to see more color, you can actually follow uh, my Instagram because I will post my um, nails products that I recently purchased so you can see what it looks like and let's say then this is how it looks like. It's really pretty. You don't need top coat. It dries really speedy fast and still shines after um, after the use. So for, for perfumes, I only have two perfumes here with me. I think there are new perfumes that came out just around the Mother's Day of last year. Was it? No, this year, I mean. So they are the one from Elizabeth, Elizabeth James. The white one, Elizabeth James White. Nirvana White, and this is a uh, black one. It's Nirvana Black. So personally, I like the white better because um, I feel like it's more refreshing. It's more, it's more like a refreshing jasmine kind of smell. I that's something I really liked. But then the black one, liking it less because I feel like this is type of scent that's for more like for kind of ma more mature people or maybe sometime you use at night time because I don't the perfume smell yeah actually they both good except it's a little bit stronger but then uh, this is more like nighttime perfume and I like this one in the morning because every time I apply it here and here it just refreshing it gives me a refreshing look it just refreshing up like especially by the end of the day so this is something I care and I love rollerball perfumes I, I like small perfume more than like large perfume because large perfume just like can use the forever like really forever like one perfume like original size it could last like two or three years and imagine if we have like a perfume collection I don't know so yeah I know I never have um, introduced books to you before, but then I want to start it because I do want to kind of like inspire other people to read because I think reading is very important. The better, uh, the more you read, the better you speak. So um, I know I'm not a great speaker because of my profession and that I, my career that I need to start reading more. So I picked two books that I think they are great for the holiday and the one I bought them from the library I don't, I don't really buy books because I don't want to buy a book that I just buy it, got at home and just lay it there for decorated purposes so I got two books from the library they are new books and they are from the same author and the author's name is called Deb, Debbie Mae Cumber um, the, they are actually holiday read. The first one is Mr. Miracle, and this is the one I'm reading right now. So, I think I will be finishing soon. So it's a really nice story. It's just nothing stressed out. E some easy reads, like especially for beginner beginners, people who rarely read. So this is very easy read. Uh, nothing too difficult. Just really like an easy going story. It's so you can kind of read along before bedtime or anytime when you have the time to read so reading is good and I brought another one as that's from um, it is called Dairy Night I haven't started this book yet but I just love the sparkly um, covers and I love holidays I love Christmas Christmas is my favorite holiday of all time so um, I want to have more spirit at home so then I love reading so um, I love the colors like anything I'm, I'm such a very superficial person anything that's sparkly that's really pretty that attractive and I would just get that book I knew if the cover is good the book will be good I know there's an old saying saying though, do not judge the book by its cover, but then for holiday reads, I do want a pretty book cover, but then I'm not really for decorated. I love the book, and I read this one already, um, and I love it. I will still, I will keep reading it, keep reading more. Hi, sorry guys, this is going to be the last product. Um, it's getting dark, and it's getting dark. My 
messy background is getting more visible bear with me this is gonna be a large product i'm gonna introduce here i always wanted to introduce you guys for a long time already and um, sanitary pad and this is one of my must have sanitary pad for the first like two or three days and heavy days because uh, I don't want, I don't like getting my pants dirty because I get so irritated and every time I have to think about how to remove the stain from my panties and this one actually saw my problem because no matter how you put it in your panty, on the panty, it does not shift it, it does not come off or anything so this is one of the big, my favorite brand so I love this brand so much and actually this product is a little bit higher priced just little slightly higher price than the other sanitary pads um, out there like the always or the stay freeze but I the first first three two or three days I use this um, item for sure and then rest a little bit I use the always so something I don't mind it's not gonna be heavy flow it's not gonna I don't have to worry about getting my pants dirty so this is must have so so that's the end of the video and if you have any questions or comments feel free to comment down below and you, or you can just uh, send me a private private message so i hope you all have a great holiday or yeah and see you in my next video bye